vocal, beautiful two-year-old in every way perfect. Uh, <laughs> she was had to give her vaccine, and she was forced to sign a waiver on that. And within a month, she became completely autistic, could not yeah. speak, mm-hmm. became all the signs of that. And now, of course, she's discomfort. And the drug, later, cartel hide, the drug cartel hides behind a, a legality, saying, well, this drug has been approved by the FDA. We're not responsible. You're not responsible for the inadequacies of the Food and Drug Administration. We're no- notorious for being inadequate at best, corrupt at worst. But the drug company is not responsible because the FDA gave its approval. Oh, boy. There's right. a can of worms, folks. Yes, the FDA gave its approval. There's a whole lot of <laughs> information we've got about that and what they've come out and admitted uh, uh, about what an ineffective organization they are. And Not ineffective, beyond, I know. corrupt. Yes, well. Absolutely corrupt. Oh, I agree. They've admitted, though, that they're yeah. completely ineffective. Yeah. Okay? That's their admission. Um, so, anyway, uh, just some other ways that you can, that we're trying to inform you so that you can take back your health. I think it's important that you realize when you come to Alive and Well, you're coming to a family-owned and operated business. Dennis and I are there. And uh, the whole family atmosphere, wonderful people who are committed to your health and work with you in every conceivable way. Uh, That is not the way things are done right now. You know, many businesses, nobody's there uh, that is, is personally involved with owning that business or trying to do personal help the way we are. Uh, with the free nutritional counseling, the way that you can keep Alive and Well going is to believe in Alive and Well as Alive and Well has believed in you. Uh, A gentleman just this very week was tremendously helped in a personal consultation, and he he began to see the light and said that he had seen the light about the fact that instead of going to try to get a, 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 a dollar here or a few cents off here by going on the Internet, he wanted to support the people who had so supported and helped him. He says that's not what he gets off the Internet or in the uh, big uh, cheapy stores. Okay, so that's what you can do by supporting us the way we support you. Alive and Well will go on to be a light to the community. Uh, maybe that's not very fashionable these days, but don't you wish that fashion would continue? Don't you see what a need is fulfilled there? And when you come, uh, don't forget to call. If you really want to have some time sitting down and talking with Dennis or with me, then do call the 877-4950, 877-4950. There is no charge, no obligation. But if you set aside a time, we're not talking to somebody else. And if you do set aside that time, And if you can't possibly make it, please call and let us know beforehand so we can offer that time to somebody else who may want to get important information by which they can take back their health. And, uh, you know... Onward and upward. (laughs) Yes, onward and upward. You know, there's an amazing amazing article about a nutrient, a nutrient that can dramatically make a difference for you. Uh, Dennis and I may share this. I want to focus on it. I, Dr. Robert J. Rowan, MD, he uh, speaks about awakening dead heart cells. He p- and he says inexpensive supplement mimics the effects of oxidative therapy. And he talks that through the years, he says, he's, I've seen hundreds of patients with heart disease completely reverse the disease. Some of these patients had their cardiologist tell them they had to have bypass surgery. And some had nearly escaped death from heart attacks. Others had such a weak heart they could hardly walk or even breathe. Few things give me more joy than to see these folks walk out of my clinic with a healthy heart and new lease on life. To get them there, I've had to use a lot of different therapies. Two of my favorites are oxidative and oxygen therapies, which he's used for more than 21 years, he says, to try to heal problems. That means to infuse the cells of your body with greater oxygen-carrying capacity to be able to strengthen every cell that that blood is carried to. The cells are dependent upon oxygen, and oxygen-deprived cells are more likely to be, become diseased and, and compromised. Right. He says that when you say when your arteries are blocked, your heart is failing, your body can't get enough oxygen, and that's why he does the hyperbaric oxygen or these other therapies. He says the problem with these therapies is that they're not simple to do. They require a visit to doctor's offices, and they can be very expensive. So he's wanted to find ways to increase oxygen in your body, he says, and repair your damaged heart with a supplement and found many supplements that can help with this. But he's talking now, and he goes, one is so effective, I didn't even have to use the oxidative therapies along with it. This supplement has been around for a while. Uh, None of us, however, connected the action of oxidative therapy to ribose. 
Even us oxygen doctors had no idea it could generate energy with your cells in a fashion similar to oxidation therapy. This supplement can literally regenerate damaged heart cells and rejuvenate cells throughout your body. It's actually the sugar ribose. And he goes on about, you may be a little startled to see me discuss a sugar in such a positive light. And I'm going to have to we, we share this. I thought Dennis might go on about how this is different from what you may think about when you think about sugars. The sweetness is entirely different than the sweetness of sugar, of right. the sugar we know, table sugar. Okay. Go ahead. Um, Did you lose your place? Oh, <laughs> good. You got it. All right. Go. Here we go. But ribose is different from other sugars. Here's why. If you look at the molecular structure of most sugars, you'll see they they are are all a chain of carbon atoms. The most common sugars, including glucose, sucrose, and fructose, have a six-carbon chain in their nucleus. And when your body metabolizes these sugars, the six-carbon chain causes your body to produce insulin. Ribose, on the other hand, has only a five-carbon chain in its nucleus. Your body handles this type of carbon chain in a completely different way. It doesn't raise your blood sugar levels. It doesn't cause your body to produce insulin. And that difference brings some stunning therapeutic effects. For instance, we've known for over 16 years, says the doctor, that ribose helps cells that aren't getting enough oxygen. If your heart doesn't have enough oxygen, it's ischemic. In certain certain areas, these areas might go into hibernation. That protects their limited energy capacity. They become non-functioning. The cells will still be viable. They just don't work. They won't pump. In a 1991 study, researchers found that ribose can quickly get those cells pumping again. This is especially important to anyone who undergoes bypass. If tests indicate that ischemic areas aren't pumping, the surgeon will assume those cells are dead. But they're not dead. They're just asleep. If the surgeon doesn't repair their blood supply, they will never wake up. However... If we can get those cells pumping again, the surgeon won't miss that area. Taking ribose before a thallium stress test could show the cells are viable. The surgeon will be more likely to address their blood flow needs. And remember, if the cells are dead, they don't need a blood supply. Living cells do need a blood supply, a continuous blood supply enriched with oxygen. This makes reminds me of something. Can I divert here? I Please. Think? You know... Uh, I, I read a lot of fairy tales to my little grandkids, <coughs> and one my do- my uh, they they're the little their granddaughters. So what do they love? They love the sl- they love the princess story. Sleeping Beauty is one of the favorites. And then there's a spell cast upon Sleeping Beauty, and everybody thinks she's dead, but she's really the, into this sleep, and out of which no one can wake her yeah. until the prince comes and gives her the kiss. You could say that's sexist and the whole thing. I agree with you, but uh, come on now, no, the kid the, is, <laughs> we're not going to go prince, into that. His prince's name is Robbie. Ribos. <laughs> Robbie Ribos. <And laughs> Very good. A good answer. <laughs> his lips are just slathered with ribose. And the bad fairy that cast a spell took out the ribose. She's got ribose that she's hiding away That's in it. this secret container. And you're right, Robbie Ribos. So the magic kiss that brings back the sleeping, the comatose sleeping mm-hmm. cells to life. And there you go. Isn't it amazing how the brain makes that connection? It's amazing. I don't know just whether amazing. maybe I'm really the little kid, and I, I don't know. This goes. Know. This also is in, in Romeo and Juliet when the when the friar uh, gives Juliet this potion, potion to drink, which mimics death. Right, right? and right? Romeo gets confused. He doesn't realize he doesn't that she's it. not in this in this sleep. Of, That's yeah, right. Okay, so it appears to be that. He deprived her of the ribose, and then when she wakes up, well, it's too late. Oh uh, gosh! At any rate, here we are. If you do have to undergo bypass surgery, says the doctor, make sure you have plenty of ribose on hand. A study conducted by an orthodox cardiac surgeon shows why. Dr. D. Prakowski of Laguna Hills, California.